This is the Word of God, containing history, the law, poetry, prophecy, the good news of Jesus, and more. In under 15 minutes per day, we can read the entire Bible in a year and see and hear God's will for our lives. Let's read. Lamentations, chapter 1. How the city sits solitary that was full of people. She has become as a widow who was great among the nations. She who was a princess among the provinces has become a slave. She weeps bitterly in the night. Her tears are on her cheeks. Among all her lovers, she has no one to comfort her. All her friends have dealt treacherously with her. They have become her enemies. Judah has gone into captivity because of affliction and because of great servitude. She dwells among the nations. She finds no rest. All her persecutors overtook her in her distress. The roads to Zion mourn because no one comes to the solemn assembly. All her gates are desolate. Her priests sigh. Her virgins are afflicted, and she herself is in bitterness. Her adversaries have become the head. Her enemies prosper, for the Lord has afflicted her for the multitude of her transgressions. Her young children have gone into captivity before the adversary. All majesty has departed from the daughter of Zion. Her princes have become like deer that find no pasture. They have gone without strength before the pursuer. Jerusalem remembers in the days of her affliction and of her miseries all her pleasant things that were from the days of old, when her people fell into the hand of the adversary, and no one helped her. The adversaries saw her. They mocked at her desolations. Jerusalem has grievously sinned. Therefore she has become unclean. All who honored her despise her, because they have seen her nakedness. Yes, she sighs and turns backward. Her filthiness was in her skirts. She didn't remember her latter end. Therefore, she has come down astoundingly. She has no comforter. See, Lord, my affliction, for the enemy has magnified himself. The adversary has spread out his hand on all her pleasant things, for she has seen that the nations have entered into her sanctuary concerning whom you commanded that they should not enter into your assembly. All her people sigh. They seek bread. They have given their pleasant things for food to refresh their soul. Look, Lord, and see, for I have become despised. Is it nothing to you, all you who pass by? Look, and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow, which is brought on me, with which the Lord has afflicted me in the day of his fierce anger. From on high has he sent fire into my bones, and it prevails against them. He has spread a net for my feet. He has turned me back. He has made me desolate, and I faint all day long. The yoke of my transgressions is bound by his hand. They are knit together. They have come upon my neck. He made my strength fail. The Lord has delivered me into their hands, against whom I am not able to stand. The Lord has set at nothing all my mighty men within me. He has called a solemn assembly against me to crush my young men. The Lord has trodden the virgin daughter of Judah as in a wine press. For these things I weep. My eye... My eye runs down with water, because the comforter who should refresh my soul is far from me. My children are desolate, because the enemy has prevailed. Zion spreads out her hands. There is no one to comfort her. The Lord has commanded concerning Jacob that those who are around him should be his adversaries. Jerusalem is among them as an unclean thing. The Lord is righteous, for I have rebelled against His commandment. Please hear, all you peoples, and see my sorrow. My virgins and my young men have gone into captivity. I called for my lovers, but they deceived me. My priests and my elders gave up the spirit in the city, while they sought food for themselves to refresh their souls. Look, Lord, 
for I am in distress. My heart is troubled. My heart turns over within me, for I have grievously rebelled. Abroad the sword bereaves. At home it is like death. They have heard that I sigh. There is no one to comfort me. All my enemies have heard of my trouble. They are glad that you have done it. You will bring the day that you have proclaimed, and they will be like me. Let all their wickedness come before you. Do to them as you have done to me for all my transgressions. For my sighs are many, and my heart is faint. Chapter 2 How has the Lord covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud in his anger? He has cast the beauty of Israel down from heaven to the earth, and hasn't remembered his footstool in the day of his anger. The Lord has swallowed up all the dwellings of Jacob without pity. He has thrown down in his wrath the strongholds of the daughter of Judah. He has brought them down to the ground. He has profaned the kingdom and its princes. He has cut off all the horn of Israel in fierce anger. He has drawn back his right hand from before the enemy. He has burned up Jacob like a flaming fire, which devours all around. He has bent his bow like an enemy. He has stood with his right hand as an adversary. He has killed all that were pleasant to the eye. In the tent of the daughter of Zion, he has poured out his wrath like fire. The Lord has become as an enemy. He has swallowed up Israel. He has swallowed up all her palaces. He has destroyed his strongholds. He has multiplied mourning and lamentation in the daughter of Judah. He has violently taken away his tabernacle, as if it were a garden. He has destroyed his place of assembly. The Lord has caused solemn assembly and Sabbath to be forgotten in Zion. In the indignation of his anger, he has despised the king and the priest. The Lord has cast off his altar. He has abhorred his sanctuary. He has given the walls of her palaces into the hand of the enemy. They have made a noise in the Lord's house, as in the day of a solemn assembly. The Lord has purposed to destroy the wall of the daughter of Zion. He has stretched out the line. He has not withdrawn his hand from destroying. He has made the rampart and wall lament. They languish together. Her gates have sunk into the ground. He has destroyed and broken her bars. Her king and her princes are among the nations where the law is not. Yes, her prophets find no vision from the Lord. The elders of the daughter of Zion sit on the ground. They keep silence. They have cast up dust on their heads. They have clothed themselves with sackcloth. The virgins of Jerusalem hang down their heads to the ground. My eyes fail with tears. My heart is troubled. My bile is poured on the earth because of the destruction of the daughter of my people, because the young children and the infants swoon in the streets of the city. They ask their mothers, Where is grain and wine when they swoon as the wounded in the streets of the city, when their soul is poured out into their mother's bosom? What shall I testify to you? What shall I liken to you, daughter of Jerusalem? What shall I compare to you, that I may comfort you, virgin daughter of Zion? For your breach is as big as the sea. Who can heal you? Your prophets have seen false and foolish visions for you. They have not uncovered your iniquity to reverse your captivity, but have seen for you false revelations and causes of banishment. All that pass by clap their hands at you. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this this city that men called the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? All your enemies have opened their mouth wide against you. They hiss and gnash their teeth. They say, We have swallowed her up. Certainly this is the day that we looked for. We have found it. We have seen it. The Lord has done that which he planned. He has fulfilled his word that he commanded in the days of old. He has thrown down and has not pitied. He has caused the enemy to rejoice over you. He has exalted the horn of your adversaries. 
Their heart cried to the Lord, O wall of the daughter of Zion, let tears run down like a river day and night. Give yourself no relief. Don't let your eyes rest. Arise, cry out in the night, at the beginning of the watches. Pour out your heart like water before the face of the Lord. Lift up your hands toward Him for the life of your young children, who faint for hunger at the head of every street. Look, Lord, and see to whom you have done thus. Should the women eat their offspring, the children that they hold and bounced on their knees? Should the priest and the prophet be killed in the sanctuary of the Lord? The youth and the old man lie on the ground in the streets. My virgins and my young men have fallen by the sword. You have killed them in the day of your anger. You have slaughtered and not pitied. You have called, as in the day of a solemn assembly, my terrors on every side. There was no one that escaped or remained in the day of the Lord's anger. My enemy has consumed those whom I have cared for and brought up. Ah, here Jeremiah is experiencing what it looks like to be distanced from God by their sins, the sins of Jerusalem and the children of Israel. It's difficult to read, isn't it? And yet it's our word for today, a reminder to draw close to the Lord and to keep His commandments. Thank you for joining. Would you please like and subscribe and join again for our next reading where we will conclude Lamentations. Have a very blessed day.